thought for the day. When you quiet your mind, your soul will speak. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we're discovering ways to reduce stress and anxiety by paying attention to the signs and signals sent by our nervous systems. Have a listen. Now, our autonomic nervous system, in an ideal world, it's automatic. And we have periods of our day where we're fight or flight, go, 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 clean the house, do the laundry, empty the inbox. We have periods of our day when we're resting and digesting and problem solving and thinking and loving and collected. In our modern life, it's not really like that. In our modern life, you open up your phone and you're bombarded by crisis news. You go to work and you're overwhelmed with more work than a person could really handle in a week. And many of us are managing family and work and lifestyle stress that's really through the roof. Not to mention things like air pollution, noise pollution, processed food. It's a lot to take in. And so our autonomic nervous system, it gets dysregulated. And many of us get stuck in a fight or flight response. That's where at 11 o'clock at night, you're feeling completely physically exhausted, but you're mentally wired. You're wired, but tired. I'm sure you know the feeling. Despite all of your best efforts, you just can't seem to self-soothe like my dog rubbing its belly. And this is where your vagus nerve can be really, really important. Now, many of you know the feeling of being wired, but tired, but sometimes you're not really sure what's going on. When we think about your vagus nerve in relation to this self-soothing, we often talk about vagal nerve tone. The terminology can get a little bit confusing, but if you think about this vagus nerve and you think about its role in your rest and digest response, when you have high vagal tone, that means your ability to self-soothe is really high. That doesn't mean you don't get stressed out. That doesn't mean you don't get anxious or worried. You will. But it does mean that you're able to respond rather than react. That means when somebody cuts you off in traffic, rather than spinning out with anger for three hours, within a couple of minutes, you're able to respond and collect yourself. That doesn't mean you never get worried or anxious about the future, but it does mean that you're able to let it go at night, put your head on the pillow, and go to bed. That would be indicative of high vagal tone. Now, the opposite is what a lot of us suffer from low vagal tone. We're not able to self-soothe. What happens is somebody cuts you in line at the grocery store and you're angry and ruminating about it for the rest of your day. What happens is you get an angry email from a vendor at work and again, you just can't let it go and it's 11 o'clock and you're spinning and spinning and spinning. This is low vagal tone. To check in with your vagus nerve, to check in with your nervous system in general, there's a few techniques that can be really helpful. The first one I'll share with you is called the nasal cycle test. Some of you have done this with me before. It's a very simple test. Doesn't work for everyone, but it's pretty effective for most people. Take your index finger, put it underneath your nose, and let's exhale three times through your nose. What we're looking for is to identify which nostril, right or left, is dominant. Which nostril is the air flowing through more freely? Your right nostril is indicative of a sympathetic nervous system state. Your left nostril is indicative of a parasympathetic state. Let's check again. Right nostril, fight or flight. Left nostril, rest and digest. Why is this relevant? Well, it's not that fight or flight is bad and rest and digest is good. There are times in our day when we'd like to be stimulated with our sympathetic nervous system. We need blood flow to our muscles and our heart and our lungs. We need to get things done. But there are other times when we need to be cool, calm, and collected. So if it's 11 o'clock at night, like I mentioned before, and you're wired but tired, and you're in your right nostril, that's indicative of low vagal tone. Let me give you another test. Now, this is a weird one. You need your phone, so hold up your phone and put on a selfie video, stick out your tongue, and make a ha sound like this. Ah. And now take a look at the video. What you're looking for is in the back of your throat, there's this thing, you've seen it before when you're brushing your teeth, it's called your uvula. Your uvula is this little piece of tissue that hangs down the back of your throat. And because your vagus nerve innervates your soft palate, remember I told you this nerve wanders all over the place, it also wanders up into the back of your mouth, your soft palate. When you have a vagal nerve dysregulation, sometimes that uvula can actually be deviated, it can be off to the side. 
This test is really easy to do with a selfie video or just in the mirror in the bathroom, and it can give you an indication if you're in an imbalanced state. The third technique is subjective, but it works really well too. What we're looking to do is cultivate interoception, understanding what's going on inside your body, not just what's going on in the news or in your environment. And a simple way to do that is to close your eyes and check in. How are you feeling right now? Are you ruminating about things that happened earlier today? Are you worried and anxious about things in the future? Do you feel like there's a dark cloud of anxiety hovering over your head? Or are you able to let things go? This simple check-in, again, can be indicative of high vagal tone if you can self-soothe or low vagal tone if you're out of balance. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.